This is going to be a demonstration of a drill that I'm calling the small grid drill. To do the small grid drill, you lay the balls out in this configuration on the table, and then you take cue ball in hand, and you run the balls in any order without allowing the cue ball to contact any other ball during the run. Now there are other versions of this drill where you use all 15 balls in a grid pattern, but usually they're further apart on the table. So this drill, uh, the challenge of this drill is that the balls are so close together. You have to be really careful about traveling the cue ball because if you get out of line too much, you're going to hit another ball. Or if you travel the cue ball too much, you're going to run into another ball. So in most of these shots, my cue ball doesn't travel very far. So this drill really targets uh, working on stop and stun and draw shots where you're not moving the cue ball uh, a great distance. Now there's where I really let it go. One round, back around for the eight. But if you don't control that well, uh, if I would have gotten on the wrong side of the eight, I would have been, my cue ball path would have been into those other balls and my drill would have ended. So even when you're having to do shots like that, you have to control the cue ball well or you're going to end up hitting these other balls. This is really the worst position play that I made during the drill. I kind of leave myself with a tough shot on the four. I was looking at that ball, but if I would have drifted up, I really wouldn't have had a clean shot on the other two. So here I go with the four. I had to come with a shot there. And now I'm just going to come back around for the seven. And for some reason I get the, the last ball jitters and almost miss this shot. This has been a Force Follow video. All Force Follow videos are in the public domain. To learn more or to donate, visit www.forcefollow.com. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital is a dynamic institution that is dedicated to the cause of researching cures for pediatric cancer and providing state-of-the-art treatment for children stricken with cancer, even if they cannot pay. I'm leaving a link in the video description so you can visit their site. Please leave a donation and help save the life of a child today.